is to have more people than just really seriously accomplished musicians like we just saw communicating, expressing, um, dealing with their feelings through, through uh, having access to music, uh, doing it, actually doing it. So I've been traveling around, going to Kenya and South Africa and Haiti, learning songs, teaching songs, sharing songs. Um, I'd like to sing with you today, actually. But for me, the most important thing is that we actually do it, we all do it, as opposed to just listening to it. I don't know. I mean, I can say Well, I have a very similar approach. Um, back uh, 30 years ago, I was at a concert here playing drums. I'm a drummer. And um, a preschool teacher said, do you think you could come to my school and show the kids something about your drums? And I thought immediately, well, it's going to be a whole lot more meaningful for them if they actually get their hands on these instruments and, and play together than it is for me just to do a demonstration. So I loaded up my, um, I think I had a uh, Plymouth Horizon. Do you remember those? <laughs> as far as full as I could get it with drums and um, other musical instruments that were to be easily accessible to people, meaning that they wouldn't have to learn a whole lot of scales or anything fancy before they could play. And I uh, showed the kids a couple simple things and, and um, from there, it took off. I've been doing that now with uh, groups of all ages and uh, just basically at every level of ability and groups of every description uh, for 30 years um, here in this country, uh, particularly on the island, but also around different parts of the United States and uh, different parts of the world. I've been to Israel and parts of the West Bank. And I've been to parts of Africa to do this and uh, just find it extremely rewarding to share the delight and the joy that comes from playing music together rather than just listening to music together or responding to music, but actually creating the music. And um, so that's what this movie was, was uh, just overwhelming to me as well. There's so much in there to talk about um, in, in terms of what, not only what, what I do and what we do, but just the, the, the parallels in my life that, that were brought up in some of, these, some of the scenes are striking. Yeah, I, I'm one of the things that's so moving to me is, you know, there's so much pain in the world. There always has been, but it seems it's like growing and growing and growing. And we don't have a lot of ways to deal with that, particularly across cultures, that we can actually be with each other. And the pain and the joy, both. And one way to do that is through music, because it's not political and it's not, you know, it's... it's is direct communication, and um, that's it's just so moving to me. Um, let's do it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to comment on one aspect of the, the movie that I did not expect. When they talked about 9/11 uh, as a turning point in uh, for the uh, for the Silk Road Ensemble, on 9/11, I was making a video because I was starting to go off around the country and teach other people how to do the workshops that I do with other kids. And we, and we were going to Los Angeles, California, to the National Association for the Education of Young Children uh, annual convention. And we were shooting this video, and someone came in and said, you know, there's, um, there's something going on. You guys should really stop and come look at the television. And while I watched the events unfold in New York City that day, I began to wonder about my significance. And this was echoed in the movie over and over again. Just well, how significant am I? And what, how significant is, is the music that I want to do and want to bring to people and share with people in the face of something like this? And uh, the next day, the people I was working with and I got together and we tried to decide whether we were going to go ahead or whether we should stop or what the heck we should do. Um, it turns out we decided the best thing we could do would be to go ahead, shoot the video, go to the convention, um, and work with as many people as we could. Uh, and since then I've had the, the honor and the pleasure of working in some of the global hotspots like Israel and uh, Tolkarum refugee camp, Ramallah, 
um, Bethlehem Nablus, uh, where I have seen what, uh, to quote the movie, fear turn into joy. Um, I've seen Palestinian and Israeli teenagers work together and seen their fear of each other and their apprehension turn to joy through the medium of music and sharing music with each other. So I'm really happy I made the decision that day not to quit. As a matter of fact, it did exactly for me what it did for the Silk Road Ensemble. It galvanized me a little bit into wanting to, to share even more with as many people as I could. <laughs>